You're really going to enjoy today's episode of Outdoor Quest TV because I'm headed high into the Mackenzie Mountains in the Northwest Territories to hunt for doll sheep with Gainer River Outfitters. Now this hunt's going to be a little bit different. I'm not taking a cameraman with me, so everything you see is going to be right through my eyes. Join me on this great adventure. Welcome to Outdoor Quest TV, Canada's longest running hunting series. Hey, glad you could stay with us in Outdoor Quest TV. I'm TJ Schwanke. Man, have we got a treat for you today. We're headed to the Mackenzie Mountains in the Northwest Territories to do a doll sheep hunt with Ghana River Outfitters. But first I had to make one little stop. I treated myself to a little early birthday present. Come on inside and see what I got. Hey Rod. TJ, how are you? Good, how you doing? Hey, Good, how you doing? How's it going? So, I was uh, just telling the viewers I treated myself to a new little present for a doll sheep hunt I'm going on. Uh, this is the first I've seen it. Yeah, well there it is. It's, uh, we're real proud of it. And Greg and I were out shooting the other night. It's a, it's a tack driver. We shot some hand loads in under, under 0.4. It's 3.85. It's a, it's a real tack driver. It's nice to shoot. Recoil's manageable. This is a 270 WSM, of course. Um, so the weight on it is? 6.25 6 pounds, and once we get our aluminum bolt knob on here shortly, it'll be close to 6 pounds. Oh, this is beautiful. I am, um, yeah, much more than I expected. Awesome. I think breaking this in on a doll sheep will be uh, an apt way to... Well, I think that's a must at this yeah. point. Yeah, I think that's going to be doing it nice justice. <laughs> from me
nothing from me. My telephone's been ringing, man, it's ringing off the wall. With the long lost family, I never knew I had it all. Nobody had the time to spare, now everybody seems to care. Well, yes, I won the lottery, and no, I'm not gonna share. from me. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Argo, world leader in amphibious vehicles. Alberta Conservation Association, conserving Alberta's wild side. Zeiss Sport Optics, we make it visible. Remington Clothing, the most effective hunting systems anywhere. Hot mocks, pack some heat. Four Lane Sporting Goods, home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle. Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Zebec, quality inflatable boats. Deluxe wall tents. McMillan Rifle Stocks. And Raider fiberglass truck tops. The most versatile vehicle ever. The Argo 8x8 750 HDI. Hills, snow, water, people, equipment, and gear. Easy steering, smooth ride, extreme off road performance. The latest, greatest result of over 40 years of expertise and innovation. The most amazing amphibious Argo ever. This is the one. Don't believe us? Find out for yourself. Mother Nature stacked the deck on their side. With uncanny senses of smell, hearing, and eyesight, the hunter's task is formidable. Zeiss has been leveling the playing field between man and prey for 165 years. Innovations like FL glass, Lototech lens coatings, and Rapid Z reticles have made Zeiss optics lighter, stronger, and clearer. At Zeiss, the future has never looked brighter. Available at retailers across Canada or check online at gentech-intl.com. The Use Respect Ask First program is designed to aid hunters, anglers, and other outdoor enthusiasts in gaining access to private land while maintaining a respectful relationship with landowners. The bright gold and black signs provide landowner contact information to allow you to meet with landowners, discuss opportunities, and maintain the privilege of accessing private land. For more information on Use Respect, Ask First, and other programs, contact the Alberta Conservation Association. Your hunting clothes may be good enough for days like this, but are they tough enough for here? In Remington Country, we build a full line of hunting systems that ensure comfort and dryness every day in the field, even when the weather doesn't cooperate. Our new Work to Hunt Bomber Jacket is designed to fit your busy lifestyle and help you stay comfortable wherever you are. Available in Mossy Oak Tree Stand, Winter Brush, and Infinity Patterns. Check out Remington Clothing at your local retailer or online at gentech-intl.com. All right, today is our first day walking. We got flown out to an airstrip uh, yesterday and decided to spend the night there. And we put on probably 10 miles today and got to the head of this drainage and found 14 sheep for certain. Um, we don't know what they are, there's the heat waves, everything else is in the way, but uh, 14 sheep, we're going to set up camp here and uh, try to get a look at them. Just, uh, Finished about a 14 hour day. We covered a couple basins. Whew, saw a couple bands of uh, ewes, no rams. So I guess the plan is tomorrow we're gonna move yet to another valley. So another day of big packs tomorrow. 
it, uh, it's a tough walking in these creek bottoms, I gotta say. It's, it really takes it out of you, and it's been hot. It's been really hot today, and the sun's been kind of unrelenting, so hopefully tomorrow maybe we'll get a little bit of cloud cover. It'd be nice if it didn't rain, but it'd be nice if we had a few clouds to kind of cool things off. Well, it's morning of day four, and uh, did another big move yesterday. Moved into uh, another drainage and came about huh, part of the way up it anyways. Uh, man, the going here is tough. It's, um, we're in these big loose rocks here, and I'll tell you what, when a seven or 800 pound rock gives up from underneath you, it gets your attention. We spotted a ram just across uh, the way in a basin, but uh, he's not what we're looking for, so we're gonna head up further into this basin we're going now, and we can actually look into another one. If we don't see anything today, on go the heavy packs, and we make another big move. Trevor just told me that uh, we're probably looking at setting the mileage record for a hunt for this year, and it's really a record that I'm happy not having. Day five, TJ Schwanke hunt. We are uh, walking out of the basin we come up into the other day. Uh, we're going back to the airstrip and we're gonna get flown out of here. Uh, we're unable to find rams anywhere in 30 plus miles and that's too many miles and no rams. So we're getting moved. Well, Trev, another long day. It was a long day. Yeah, we uh, started this morning somewhere up a drainage way over there and walked onto the airstrip. And uh, Bill came and picked us up and ran us down the river a little further. And we were about six hours getting up here. Six hours from the airstrip. Yeah. yeah. And we got basically four days left to hunt. Four hard days. Yeah. <laughs> four hard days. Yeah, so we're in some brand new country and uh, man, this was, this was a nasty creek to come up. It was gross. I'm getting tired of creeks and rocks. Yeah, but you tell me on the other side of this ridge, it's kind of some more kind of grassy slopes. and There should be rams just on the other side. They're uh, typically a sheep on the other sides facing north. Yeah. It's all grassy and nice, nice going. We just have to get to the nice going. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like too bad of a climb up behind us there. So. No, that's not too bad. And once we're up top, we can skip along real good. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully we can do it tomorrow. I know I'm... Uh, this is how sad it is. It's five after seven and I'm thinking about going to bed already. I'm, pretty, so. <laughs> I'm not far behind you. I'm not far behind you. Well, hopefully tomorrow I'll bring some rams. I hope so too. This is Coraline's Gun Tech Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Greg from Coraline Sporting Goods, home of Rocky Mountain Rifles. And today we're going to talk about barrel obstruction and preventions and treatments for those issues. So here is the most common cure for any of these barrel obstruction issues. Put a piece of electrical tape over the end of that barrel and I recommend having a reserve supply built up onto your barrel so when you go to uh, replace this, if you shoot through it, you got a backup supply handy for any field situation. And they do sell barrel cots as well, which are a uh, nice fast way to do it as well. Single use application. For removing barrel obstructions when they do happen in the field, boar snakes are a nice portable package. Another way is to pack a collapsible cleaning rod. Obviously this is a one piece coated rod. You want to remove your obstruction from the chamber end out the front of the barrel. Otherwise, you're basically going to be running the mud or debris straight down your rifling and that's not necessary. So clear your bore, clean your brush off, retract it back through or re-pull through your snake. This is just one example of a bulged barrel here. And uh, this is a very subtle bulge, something that goes undetected by most people. I have an extreme example here of what a barrel obstruction can end up doing to your barrel. So use some electrical tape or a muzzle cot and prevent this from happening. If you have any gun related questions and you need more information, call us at Coraline Sporting Goods. This tip has been brought to you by Coraline Sporting Goods, home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle. Well, it's 3.30 on day six. We're just getting ready to head up the hill. We had one heck of a storm last night. Uh, lots of thunder, lightning, uh, rained for the better part of about 14 hours. So we just hunkered down in the tent here. There wasn't much we could do. The fog really rolled in. You couldn't see very far. Uh, wind was blowing. It was pretty nasty out there. So it just seemed prudent to stay in the tent and wait till it passed. Starting to break up out there now. Fog's pretty well lifted. Uh, probably get a few showers throughout the day, but it doesn't look 
doesn't look too bad. They say it's 3.30 now, but uh, the great thing is here, you know, it really never gets dark. So we can pretty well hunt most of the night, maybe a couple hours where it's twilight where we need to hunker down under a rock and a tarp, but other than that, we could be a while until we see the tent again. Well, it's just about midnight here in the Mackenzie's. Hard to believe, I know. We just spotted uh, five rams. And I'm gonna take a little better look at one. He's, uh, didn't look too bad from a distance. We weren't too sure we wanna get an age on him. And so we're about four or five hours from camp here. So this is where we're we gonna call home tonight. That, uh, Blue tarp right there is going to be my accommodations for the night and Trevor's going to set his sill tarp up and crawl under that. I don't imagine we'll be sleeping in or expecting room service in the morning, but it'll do the trick. You have a good sleep last night, Trevor? I did not. Did it, was, it was cold, wasn't it? It was cold. Morning came early. It did too. So what's planned this morning? I think we want to just sneak over here, take a quick look at that basin and where them sheep went last night. We want to go have a look at them, see if there's any more and go from there. Sounds good. A little hot tea first? Tea and granola bar first. Excellent. Well, it's afternoon, day eight, and it's been a real game of ups and downs here the last couple days. We uh, got in on some rams yesterday in the morning uh, after a long, cold night, and just decided it just wasn't the right, right ram. He was um, just an eight-year-old, about 36 inches. Figured we could do better. Um, found some rams yesterday afternoon, and there's a good one in there. He's about 36 or 37 on one side and a little shorter on the other, but you know, he's old and he's broomed a little bit and really, really heavy. So, sat on him all day yesterday and just had him at 494 yards once and was really tempted to shoot, but it was just a really steep downhill angle and the wind's just so crazy here. Um, just didn't know what to do, so we put him to bed last night Went back down to the tent and uh, got a good night's sleep, which we really both needed. Uh, back up here early this morning and uh, found the rams. They hadn't moved a couple hundred yards. Watched them for a while and they started moving across the basin and uh, it looked like they were going to go up the other side. So we quickly ran around the mountain and we're just on the other side of the mountain right now. And it looks like they just worked their way down and they're bedded right in the bottom. We're in a little better position than we were yesterday. If the rams feed up a little bit, we can probably get down about 100. Right now they're um, 596 yards below us. So we need them to come up a couple hundred. We can sneak down 100 and the wind's just howling today. So I'm not comfortable shooting much over 300 unless that wind uh, you know, really calms down. Game of patience. Unfortunately, there's only one more day left after this one. So something's either gotta happen today or tomorrow or it's gonna be over. Silver Willow Taxidermy is proud to sponsor the closed captioning of this show. You can count on Silver Willow for professional award-winning taxidermy. Call Curtis at 780-753-4716 or find them online at swtaxidermy.com. What's in your way? The Argo 8x8 750 HDI. The latest, greatest eight-wheel drive amphibious off-road vehicle made by Argo. The ultimate dream machine for the outdoors. And it floats. Extreme off-road performance. Argo. Your hunting clothes may be good enough for days like this, but are they tough enough for here? In Remington Country, we build a full line of hunting systems that ensure comfort and dryness every day in the field, even when the weather doesn't cooperate. Our new Work to Hunt Bomber Jacket is designed to fit your busy lifestyle and help you stay comfortable wherever you are. 
Available in mossy oak tree stand, winter brush, and infinity patterns. Check out Remington Clothing at your local retailer or online at gentech-intl.com. Family-owned Coraline Sporting Goods in Dawson Creek has been serving the needs of hunters and shooters for 50 years. Our new outdoor theme store offers one of the widest variety of firearms, optics, ammunition, and hand-loading supplies in Canada. And the fully equipped gun shop repairs and services all makes and models of firearms and is the home of the world-famous custom-built Rocky Mountain Rifles. Dead ram. Nice shot, mister. Holy crap. Oh. TJ, how far have a shot? <laughs> I lost and I lost her words. Oh, mister, that was awesome. 371 yards. Dead to right. Man. Tell you what, Trevor, that's the hardest sheep I've ever got. How long was that stock? Two and a half days. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trevor, I don't know, man. I thought doll sheep are supposed to be the easy ones. They're supposed to be, huh? It's supposed to be an eight day or... Eight days of hard hunting, too. I don't know. We are figuring we got to the strip the other day. We were at about 60 kilometers. We had to put on another 20. Ah, uh, for sure 20. That's a lot in eight days. Yeah, so. We'll be probably close to 90 kilometers when we get out of here. Yeah, for sure we will. That's a lot of walking, I gotta say. Especially for a fat old man like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you did pretty well for your age. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you got lots of, uh, lots of years left in you. I hope so. It's a good way to break in a new rifle, I would say. It wasn't a good way. I gotta thank Rod and Tim and Greg for uh, putting the rush on building this for me. I picked it up uh, just about three weeks ago only, so I didn't have much time to spend with it. How far of a shot? Uh, it was, what was it, 379 yards? 379. And that's where that Rapid Z reticle comes in so nice. I mean, it was, you know, there was no guessing. I oh, just, it, was, it was awesome. He tipped over pretty easy. Yeah, I held the 350 high on his shoulder and, uh, you know, dropped about two inches from where I held, which was exactly what I expected. And, yeah. man, he cratered. Dead. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. It was a good deal. I was glad I was around. Uh, thank you so much. If you want any more details on hunting with uh, Gainer River Outfitters, make sure you check it out online at theoutdoorquest.com. For more information on hunting with Gainer River Outfitters, check them out online at gainerriver.com or give them a call at 403-357-8414. Travel assistance provided by Northwest Territories Tourism. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Argo, world leader in amphibious vehicles. Alberta Conservation Association, conserving Alberta's wild side. Zeiss Sport Optics, we make it visible. Remington Clothing, the most effective hunting systems anywhere. Hot Mox, 
pack some heat. Four Lane Sporting Goods, home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle. Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Zebec quality inflatable boats. Deluxe wall tents. McMillan rifle stocks. And Raider fiberglass truck tops. This has been an Outdoor Quest TV production. Visit us online at OutdoorQuestTV.com.